Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. My name's Kevin, and we're gonna try to fire this old beast up today. This is my one ton. It is a 1990 Chevy one ton dump truck. And uh, I did a lot of restoration on the motor and on the bed and on all the uh, hydraulics. Last year, I didn't show a lot of it on video, but this thing has been really handy on the farm. But as you can see, the grass around it, it hasn't been moved in probably two months or so. It hasn't been fired up. So hopefully it's not full of wasps or snakes. But uh, last night I did a little more digging after I ended the video. I went ahead and I dug, oh, probably about 60, 70 more feet. And uh, <clears throat> I'm off work. So as soon as I get this thing fired up, I'm going to pull it over to the shop. I'm going to check the oil and all that. We're just going right down the road. Um, there is a gravel pit where this uh, creek down here just to the south of our property. Uh, there's a gravel pit down there. It's been there for years and what they do is they dredge out the uh, creek channel and they screen all the different rocks and all the gravel and sand and they separate it into different pieces and you can buy whatever size of creek gravel that you want and this time I'm going to try to go with like some probably some half inch stuff or some pea gravel something like that. I don't know how they term it or how they uh what they call it or how they measure it out or all that i don't know how their filters or screens work but anyways we'll probably get two to three ton that's probably gonna be more than what i need but i don't want to have to go more than once i don't even know how much this stuff is a load but this truck should be good for pulling about oh three ton no further we're going we do have to come up a pretty good size hill so it's going to be a real test for this old beast here but uh first thing i'm going to do is pull it over to the shop and get all the fluids checked make sure it's ready to go make sure my make sure my tires are aired up because i sure don't want to have no flats or anything so uh i'll try to uh strap a gopro on as we go down there i don't know how much filming i'll actually do down there i don't even know these people very well and sometimes people like that don't like when you film and stuff so you never know what you're getting into but i'll try to get filmed what i can so you got the old style crank windows Okay, I got the kids rounded up, and uh, what'd you just ask me? Can we sit in the back of the truck? Can you sit in the back of the truck? Mm -hmm. You want to blow out? No. No, you can't sit in the back of the truck. Oh. It'll burn you anyways. Is it hot today? Yes. Well, guess what? This truck don't have an air conditioner. Mm -hmm. Actually, it does. You just roll the windows down. That kayak sat in the middle. You guys have never rode in this truck down the road, have you? Huh? <laughs> Let Kaya in the middle, I said. She said about me in the middle. No, let Kaya in the middle. She's the littlest. Oh, it's so hot. Yeah, it's super hot. I should have parked it in the shade, let it cool off a little bit. 
All right, so uh, get in there. We're just running right down the road. I don't know how much we're gonna film. I gotta grab the GoPro real quick and I'll oh, mount it to yeah. the top. Well, oh, we'll yeah. see, we'll see. We're not, we might not have anything to film. So uh, we'll see you guys down the road at the gravel pits. So the old girl didn't let me down it still ran very good the only problem it has had ever since uh, i got it was second gear uh sometimes you have to let off you have to rev the rpms up a little bit and let off the gas when it's in second gear for it to shift into third but that's the only uh problem that this truck really has right now so not 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 anything too big for working around the farm it works perfect um we got it for a good price and i don't have very much money into it so it's been working out really great and uh, guys, I just want to show you guys, this is the, the gravel I was talking about. So this is straight out of the creek, just below our property here. Um, it's less than a mile away. It's just maybe a quarter mile from our house. And this is supposed to be two tons, which it feels a lot heavier than that, so I don't really know. But this is gonna work perfect for uh, our water line project for our farm upgrade. So I'm gonna show you guys more of the ditch how much more i got dug last night after i quit videoing and then i'm gonna get on this tractor here in a minute and start digging away so uh you guys know i'm gonna put a hydrant here and i went ahead and dug that out a little more so i got a little room to work because i got to get all the uh, fittings and all that in there and then uh, put a t there and the hydrant and then we're going right that way you can see what i found way more rocks so uh, there you go, that's the adventure for today. And I just wanted to show you guys, I wanted to take you guys along with me as I went and got the uh, gravel from down the road. I think that's a little cool, that's a pretty cool little outfit if you ask me. They dredge that stuff right out of the creek, it's all natural. And then they screen it and then separate it accordingly. I didn't do much filming down there because I don't know the people or nothing, but uh, yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. So I just wanted to take you guys along and uh, I'm gonna get busy digging now. Try to get this thing wrapped up tonight and then maybe in a day or two i will actually hook up the water line and uh i'll make another video on all that so i'm out here working on this tractor um, i got about halfway down here with the line 
and then I'm gonna start from here and go work towards back that way but looky here I wish I was doing what these guys were doing I don't know how well you guys can see that but all the feeder pigs minus Jabba is pretty much in the pond Jabba's in the shade sleeping but those Berkshires are pretty much got their whole bodies underneath the water staying nice and cool and I'm gonna start right here and then I'm going to work my way right back to where I left off and uh, I thunk ahead I thought ahead a little bit this time I froze a power aid because yesterday I grabbed one and set it here and it got way too hot way too fast and it's super important to stay hydrated even though I'm not physically doing work I am sitting here just sweating I'm drenched so uh, I gotta get busy I'll see you guys in a little bit So you just seen me take the last scoop on this ditch. Um, so I had a pretty good straight line going all the way to where we're gonna put the hydrant. But right here, like I told you guys earlier, when you know you gotta start from uh, both ends because eventually you're gonna meet in the middle and you can't really straddle this big ditch here or you won't be able to get off of it. You know, one side of your tires will go down in it and your tractor might flip or whatever, or it'll just cave in on you and then you're gonna have a big mess. So you got to kind of side straddle your hole or your trench here and kind of dig at kind of an angle here. So it's a little bit difficult. So there's a little bit of a little curve right here, but I still got the depth and everything. So luckily this one inch poly line is very flexible. So it has some uh, leeway to it. So you can bend around some curves and stuff. So uh, I'm going to go get this tractor put up and give me a cold drink. And then we'll come back out here and look at this ditch and uh, see what's next. So the ditch is completely dug. Um, there might be a little place here and there I have to go back and kind of clean out with my hands to uh, make some room for this stuff right here. All these fittings, the hydrants, the frost-free hydrants, our T, all our end fittings, and all our little brass fittings and valves, and of course our 500-foot piece of pipe. What are you doing in here? Get out of here, Red. So, I don't know... If I'm going to try to do that tomorrow, I have a day off in a couple days. And uh, that way it'll give me a whole day to work on the water line. And if it goes as things usually go when I do things, I'm going to make a, I'm going to have to make a trip to uh, town a couple times. Oh, Dirtface Jr. here is trying to woo uh, one of our female goats. <laughs> kind of threw me off that weird noise. But, um, yeah, what, so what I'm saying is, I want to have a whole day to try to get this water line in because once I start, I don't want to finish. I mean, I don't want to stop until I'm finished. And there's a pretty good chance I'll have to go back and get a fitting or something. There's just, you just never know. It just seems to be the way that things go sometimes. And I want to have a day to where things are open and uh, I don't have to wait till the next day or something because I'm going to have to shut the water off, which isn't a big deal because these goats do have a pond over there. But I do, uh, I am going on to the main line, which is on uh, right here where that hydrant is. And that is what their automatic water is on. So I'm going to be tapping into that. So I'm going to have to shut it off from the main line going to the house that is feeding this line. And then I will be putting a valve right after this hydrant here. That way, if something goes wrong downhill towards the barn or down towards the pond, I can isolate all that and uh, cut it off right there. And still have a good water line to my goats and i can still uh, run water hoses like i have in the past it's just uh not ideal and this is going to save us so much time and uh work from having to fill the totes up and hauling them all the way down to the feeder pen to fill the water up or the pond up if it doesn't rain so uh thank you guys so much for uh checking out these videos on this whole series of this farm update um we're gonna have some big stuff coming for the barn as well that we're going to be showing on video but first i got to get this water line done and uh i don't think i'm going to be able to use all this gravel so i'm going to have to find a place to dump it and i got a couple holes on our uh, driveway that'll probably work just fine so i'm going to end this video now thank you guys so much if you are not subscribed i ask you guys please hit that subscribe button click the notification bell and that will tell you when we upload new content leave a comment and we'll see you next time